telecommunication companies and the government has provided 450 million ringgit Malaysia in order to give tablets to 600,000 students from B40 families. Hafni? So how exactly will all of these devices be used to benefit students in classes? I will explain later in the arguments. Now, let's get into the arguments. There are two arguments that I would love to elaborate on. The first one is, computers benefit students in terms of literacy in technology. As we know, the world, the economy, and the society is progressing towards digitalization. <laughs> we need to expose our future leader to the future itself by using computers in classes. So as Hafni asked me, how are these computers going to benefit students in classes? First of all, these computers will enhance students' creativity and it will enhance students' technical skill. For example, we as students, when we use computer, we can learn how to manage data, how to do arithmetic calculations, and we can, we can learn how to save time rather than doing it on whiteboard or papers which will consume more time. Yes? When the fund for computers is increased, the government will be able to provide personal computers for each student. So it is different than the current situation. The current situation is we only have we only have certain amount of computers in the school's computer lab, which is inadequate for the students. The students will not be able to access computers from their house, especially during the pandemic of COVID-19. As I as I explained previously, 40% of students did not have personal computers because they were financially incapable to get computers. Okay, moving on. So there is a real world example under students' literacy in technology. Because when students use computer, it will create passion and interest in them to soon develop to become software engineers or IT programmers in the future. So for example, there is an article reporting about a 70-year-old boy he has a salary of 